Hello to all and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the spiritual guidance reading for the day of June 14th of 2022. So June 14th is a full moon in Sagittarius energy, a time to really figure out <clears throat> or to search for uh, a meaning of life, your goals, your talents, your skills. It's time for an uh an optimistic approach to life and a belief that life is now going to improve. So a lot of uh, positive energy coming in with this full moon around the 14th of June. So for this daily reading, I've been guided to the Sacred Traveler deck by Denise Lynn, and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whoever needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages regarding the day of June 14th of 2022. All right, so we have someone here on June 14th who either before June 14th or on the day, the very early part of the day of June 14th of 2022, some form of gateways of triumph are opening up. Success is expanding in the lives of those who've been working towards some form of meaning in their life, a goal, uh, a project, an idea. Optimistic energy is transpiring for those people and the gates of success are opening up here. Now in the thoughts position, we have grace and grat gratitude. So this is kind of a spiritual message here to remember to give thanks to spirit and to those around you who, um, recognizes your joy here through gratitude and grace your joy will expand success will continue to expand peace joy and happiness will return balance in your life so on june 14th we have the impasse card in the relationship sector of this circle spread it is time indeed to reflect for a moment in connection to another or others and then redirect your energy back into joy and success new beginnings <clears throat> new successful beginnings wow so creatively in the creative aspects position down here we have the begin now card right so it's time to create uh, to continue to build upon what you're already creating uh, to to put one foot in front of the other and recognize the joy that is coming as a result of some form of success in your life. So there's a little bit of a message about giving thanks to spirit for the new gates of triumph that are opening up as you redirect your energy from one person or group of people into the direction of another on June 14th. Now in the actions position, there's just a, a nudge from spirit with the breaking trail card to trust that as you continue to act, uh, as you slowly but surely walk through <clears throat> this gate to triumph, there's going to be a realization, maybe closer to the end of the day or just some reflection here, that a breakthrough is finally at hand. So emotionally, there are some here who are stepping into unknown territory, a path that you not have not yet experienced in your life path journey so far. But spirit saying with the unknown territory card and the emotional aspects position, don't worry, you are exactly where you need to be. And as the gates of triumph open up, as you recognize a breakthrough in the area of success, continue to put one foot in front of the other and give thanks to those around you or spirit for guiding you here. So in this subconscious position, we have simplify your life, travel lightly. Redirect your energy into the direction of a new beginning here because spirit's saying as you travel lightly into unknown territory, so too will you start to recognize the first action steps you want to take towards some form of success. So day-to-day -day in the day-to-day -day aspects position up here, we have distant thunder. Someone here is recognizing that a storm has passed. Some are needing to clear the air and bring up eventually some form of information that an unexpected unknown direction has finally opened up for you. And you're going to go and travel into that direction um, to begin something new, something more successful. This could be a new idea, new project, new location. 
in the inner strengths position, we have a view from above. For, so Spirit's giving the collective the strength on June 14th to just kind of look at things from above, right? Get the big picture of what a breakthrough means to you because eventually as you step into unknown territory, you're going to come to the realization uh, that there is a beautiful path opening and, and that you're being guided to start that direction now on June 14th. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the Discovering the Truth card, right? Traveling lightly once again. Maybe there's some traveling back and forth for someone here on the day of June 14th. And Spirit saying, just enjoy the joy and delight of the truth of what is manifesting for you, for you are beginning a new cycle in your life. Ground yourself, go deep, and walk in the beautiful universe of what is unfolding for you. Tread thoughtfully and slowly, for you will start to recognize that there is support all around you. So we have someone here going through a doorway and looking over here at this sanctuary, this spiritually content, stable environment, location, uh, creative project. Spirit saying, answer the call. Okay, so if a call comes on Thursday, answer the call because the time for the, some form of breakthrough here is now. Spirit's giving you the strength to get the big picture of the situation, whether it's business or personal, and to clear the air, to travel, to reflect, and then to redirect so you can finally move forward towards greater passion and pleasure in your life. Get ready for New horizons, maybe someone is planning or is actually traveling to some form of faraway place. A little worried because you've never been there before, but Spirit saying travel lightly eventually. Um, back and forth travel will help you to make a more clear decision on June 14th or in the future. Yeah, Uncovering a treasure beneath the surface lies an opportunity to rest and relax for you are protected by Spirit at this time. Okay, so I'm going to confirm and clarify with the black tarot deck. I like to confirm and clarify with a tarot deck because sometimes it brings in the astrological signs and or elements of who by which spirit is trying to communicate with or about. Okay, we had some cards jump. Five of Swords, someone's conflicted here about some form of communication, this unknown territory, but that you are exactly where you were meant to be at this time, and it's a path of success in front of you. <clears throat> Take the steps to clear the air. Look at the big picture. All right, so we have someone here with the Temperance Angel energy. Again, I'm feeling this a lot during the day of June 14th, where there's like, I am setting goals and meeting goals, and I'm testing the waters, and I'm feeling very balanced, because now I know uh, a doorway of success is in front of me. So some may already know this by June 14th. In the thoughts position, we have the Three of Wands. Yes, I am recognizing that my ship has come in after three projects, three communications, three ideas, uh, three directions. My ship is coming in and Spirit saying, remember, through grace and gratitude to Spirit and those around you, uh, comes the karmic energy of joy. So in the relationship sector, we have the Emperor energy. Reflect and redirect. Maybe uh, this is you thinking about someone who's in a leadership position or someone who is financially abundant, secure, or stable here. It could be that someone is being feeling a little bit closed off in the relationship sector on June 14th and Spirit's saying, give yourself a moment to reflect on that, find balance, and then redirect your energy. Travel lightly into the direction of what success means to you right now because that's where Spirit is saying your attention needs to be. See, creatively, we have the Seven of Swords energy. So there is some form of communication issue with someone around you. Again, if someone is closed off a little bit on June 14th, continue to begin forward movement when it comes to your own personal success is the message. So in the actions position, we have the Knight of Spheres or Pentacles or Coins energy, however you view it. We have someone breaking trail and eventually... Maybe by the end of the day or by the end of the day, there's a realization that something is coming. It's just coming in a divinely timed way. So remember to 
Look at the big picture of the situation and remain balanced as you wait for this opportunity to develop for you. Emotionally, we have the Two of Swords energy. So we have someone here who's conflicted about making a decision because you are unsure of some unknown territory. I definitely feel like there's conflict regarding someone here that is slowing the process of this person switching their, their self in the direction spirits trying to guide them to go when it comes to success. Someone could slow your success or block your success if you're putting your attention into the negative. So in the subconscious position, we have the seven of spears, pentacles, coins, traveling into a new direction, looking at a new opportunity that is blessed. Number seven is a very spiritual number. This is spirit's way of stepping in, helping you to create an empire that brings you balance and abundance. An offer is coming. You will have a breakthrough as a result of your balanced actions. Setting goals and meeting goals and trusting that your ship is coming in personally for you. So day to day, we have the two of pentacles energies. Indecision about a path of money or things of the material. A job or just money in general. Someone is feeling more balanced on the 14th when it comes to indecision about a person hmm or a path of money i feel like new opportunities of money are opening up and it's something that someone here hasn't done before and spirit saying hang in there wait for it because success is going to expand in your life and bring you joy so in the inner strengths position we have the queen of wands energies spirit saying we're giving you the strength of the queen of wands to set and meet goals day to day in a very balanced way trusting that the gates of triumph are going to open for you and you will start to take new steps into unknown territory unknown territory that you have manifested believe it or not so spirit saying we're giving you the strength to look at the big picture of what you are creating what is on offer what is in your highest best good there could be a position of leadership being on uh, offered here and spirit saying definitely travel into the direction of that and see what it is lay down your swords of worry and fear and trust with the three of wands energies that if you hope that your ship is coming in your ship is coming in because the king uh, knight of pentacles is uh, being provided in the actions position with the breakthrough card so in a three-card summary with the same black tarot deck, we've got the Hanged Man, the Four of Swords, and the King of Cups. Beautiful. So the Eight of Cups, when can I eventually go away from a path that no longer fulfills me emotionally, financially, whatever it is. Spirit stepping in with the Major Arcana, the Hanged Man, to help someone here look at things from every perspective and observe in the first part of the day of June 14th. Here we have swords again. I put a lot of time and effort into something, but now I'm feeling stuck or trapped. Ten of Pentacles. You can manifest a light at the end of the tunnel if you connect with someone who's in a leadership position. Now we do have the World card and the King of Cups. Things going full circle and either connecting with someone who's very kind and emotionally balanced or this is the beautiful energy that you fall into. That you are recognizing is the right path for you in a new direction, in a new territory. All right, so open your spiritual source. Find your sanctuary. Where do you want to be in this numerological number six year of 2022? Coming into connection with genuine people, with genuine energy energy that uh, reflects one another for beautiful futures can start in this numerological number year number six year of 2022 so ace of action right just like the queen of pentacles energy setting goals and meeting goals and getting really excited about a new path in the area of money now the wands energy of action could represent passion and however that applies to you home family or some form of business but the card says that this sheriff is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity your career or the pursuing of your dreams this is a card of action and if you've been procrastinating it is now time to get busy 
It's a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. For something's going to happen very quickly and unexpectedly throughout the day at some point. Things are going to feel like there's a lot going on, but Spirit's saying by the end of the day, what you are waiting for comes as a result or is on its way. Peaceful times either way are on the horizon. There will be a feeling that the storms have finally passed. And now you will be able to see that your destination is within sight. The stress in your life will begin to fade away, allowing now for happy, happier times where wishes are granted and dreams come true. All right, so should some of these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey or you just like your own personal energy, general energy read, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Spring Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for those likes, those shares, and those subscribes. Thank you for the beautiful comments in the comment section below, and to those of you who have let me know that these messages are indeed resonating for you. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you for your month to month readings and for those uh, to those who attend the Wednesday Zoom cast where there are free readings and the Thursday live YouTube podcast um, where I will be doing one month one question readings for a minimum of a $10 donation. Thank you so much for those donations. Take care and God bless.